Welcome, Virgo, to your general love read. We're doing a special reading this week. It is Soul Path. Okay, so I'm looking at what was like your destined, like soul path coming into this connection, coming into this life, and we're looking at your life path in the extended. Okay, if you are new, welcome. I am intuitive, and so some of what I see as we go through this tarot reading may not resonate, but with any reading that's general, there are going to be things that won't resonate. So take what's light for you, leave the rest. Roles could be reversed. You could watch this and be like, this is totally my person. Well, then it is totally your person, okay? Um, as well, time is fluid. So whenever you come to this, if it resonates for you, that is when it was meant for you. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look here first at cards for the collective and the intention, okay? That way you're still getting some very guided energy from spirit, okay? Before we go on this fun little journey. All right, interesting. So, okay, for the collective, you start out with birth and root chakra, which the birthing process, right? The actual birth canal is in the root chakra. So I do feel for some of you, okay, you're going through a process where you have gone through this long journey kind of to get there because it can take forever, right? To go through the birthing process or at least it feels that way. And you're being guided. This birth is not to be fearful, okay? You are not meant to be fearing this new journey. Um, hold on to that vitality, your passion, your inner strength, and have courage as you go forward in this new space. Again, the fire within us is in that root chakra area, okay? And through this passion, through this creation, like they're showing here that anything is possible, okay? What you seek is just waiting for you and you are moving towards that. The intention here, okay, again, very aligned creator. For some of you, maybe you are expecting, and this is just a signal for you, okay? The creator, and of course, babies are innocent, right? So you're starting something that it's like letting go of all the baggage, okay? And just starting from scratch, starting from the possibilities and leaving everything else in the past, okay? This is really this sort of honeymoon phase, all right? So beautiful, beautiful energy. So we are gonna start here, all right, with the lion, the sun, which to me is the most important area, okay, for us when we are doing palmistry, okay, because without the thumb, like, what are we, <laughs> okay? That's how we grasp life. That's why it's so important, okay? So, the sun here, the hangman in reverse, Okay, you came here to be very spontaneous, all right? And it could be that when things take forever like this has, that it really impacts your mindset because you like want things to just happen and magic, okay? <coughs> Someone needed to hear that. So let's look at the authority, your Jupiter, okay? Okay, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Nine of Cups in the upright. So you do tend to follow luck and light. Um, you could very much be someone that's empathic. You follow energy. You allow love and energy to override stability and growth, okay, in terms of where 
where you feel like you're an authority. Like you may feel like I'm an authority, right? Like in listening to my in inner knowing of my heart. Okay, I just follow my heart, so to speak. The Saturn, your logic here, means that I feel like sometimes, okay, yeah, sometimes when you have two paths, because we've got, <coughs> someone really needs to hear this, the Empress here with the Two of Wands, when you have two paths, even if it seems illogical as all get out, you follow your heart, okay? But it also shows me here that when you're not in unison, okay, with others on your choices, that you probably go inward, okay? The Apollo, your emotions, they lead you to the tower, okay? You let your emotions wreak havoc on your foundation sometimes because you do follow your heart. Okay, your Mercury, your communication, you're very patient, okay? But it also shows me with the Knight of Pentacles being in the communication area that you could be one to give the silent treatment, okay? It could sometimes be that you just don't say how you feel, even though you f uh, that's all you are is feelings. Like at your core, you are feelings. Now the connection here, which is your inner Mars, okay, Page of Swords, I do feel like you are very clear that this is your person, okay? Your heart, outer Mars though, okay, you've had a lot of pain associated with this. And it may have been because there were lessons that your soul wanted to learn through this connection. If we look at the Venus, your divine masculine. Okay, your inner divine masculine has no boundaries. Okay, you're spontaneous, you have no boundaries. Um, you speak your, you know, when you do speak, you speak it from the heart. And I do feel like that causes you a lot of pain and a lot of times I feel that you do have to really pull yourself into calmer waters because emotionally you are so tied into all of this. The Divine Feminine, your moon, okay, is about understanding timing where you may struggle with that because I feel like you're very tapped into the 5D, not necessarily three or the fourth dimension, okay? Queen of Mars, all right, outcome here. You're very giving, okay? Um, I feel like you just keep giving. I want another one here really quickly, yeah. You just give all of your love, okay? I feel like no matter what happens, you're understanding and loving and if this is your person you're just going to keep giving them all of your love no matter what the outcome so in the situation here okay this person could be tied to something else whether it's a belief family work um, another partner Feel like they want to take action king of wands here okay they do want to take action at the bottom we've got the ace of wands and there's the emperor okay what this person wants is that two of cups however um it really does come down to i feel like the timing but let's go ahead and Let's do some clarification on here. Okay. So let's look at your sun. Yeah, you're very tapped into your inner knowing, right? 
and it's hard for you to balance between just following your inner knowing, following that spontaneity, and actually living in this reality. Um, there's one reader, and I don't know his name, um, and I hate to say that, but there's not a lot of readers that I follow, um, so I should know his name. But he's just so genuine. But what I like about him is that he does say, you know, sure, having that 5D connection is great, but we live in the 3D world. And so it takes being aligned right to that 3D world to live here. And so that could be kind of what you came here to balance. Like you came here to learn how to live in this box of the third dimension. Okay, so when we look at the Jupiter here, okay, there we have the dreaminess and the higher attachment. Like you let your higher knowing and love override everything, okay? With the Saturn here, yeah, okay. I feel like you spend just a lot of time in the intuitive world, in this higher realm. And because of that, it does keep you making impulsive movements. Um, you know, it keeps you on your toes. Sometimes it keeps you from making the more stable choice. Okay, the Apollo here. Yeah. Okay, again, you let your emotions like terrorize the rest of your life. But I feel like what they're showing here with the Ace of Cups and the world, I feel like that is starting to change with this connection. There's this feeling of you're learning valuable lessons from this person on how to hold space, okay? I mean, that's exactly what this says to me here right, right now. That is someone holding space, okay? So you're learning how to hold space and not to let your emotions, like, drive over the top of someone, although they may have already in this situation, um, but it's important to know that you're learning and that you're ending some of these 3D cycles. In the communication here, okay, yeah. It's letting go of the fact that you know you can say anything in the world to this person in the 5D. That's why there's such a slowdown here, okay? This patience, but it's allowing yourself to open up and communicate to people here. Okay, not just up here. So, inner Mars, the connection here. Yeah, okay, you're clear about this, but you keep it completely to yourself. And there is this energy, yeah, okay? Like, I feel like your lack of communication to them kind of has been your own inner fight and it's really burned this energy down, okay? Because in your heart, you may think you're not even connected to this person. There may be a part of you that thinks that this is just, you know, made up, okay? And you may be telling yourself to you know, quit following your intuition. Quit thinking the way you think. Focus on the stability because it doesn't work for you. And the hard part about that is that that is not at all wired into your system. So it's like telling yourself, you know, being like a, a zebra and saying, well, I'm, I'm just a horse. 
How can you do that? How does that work? Okay, so the Venus, Divine Masculine, okay? This lack of boundaries creates a lot of heartbreak for you. And on the other side, trying to, you know, allow divine timing to happen. Okay, allowing like cycles to end. We do have a lot of juggling of that, trying to come into that balance. Yeah, and you're overly thinking, okay? You will allow yourself to be in pain forevermore if it's for the benefit of this person, okay? Now, part of that is your ego because that's ridiculous to be in pain and carry someone else's burden, but you're you know, allowing your head to be like, well, that's, that's love, which it is not. Okay. So this person here, okay. I feel like they're done wearing a mask because they're like, I've tried to make this happen the way that I want to. I've tried to, you know, get over my own issues and that hasn't worked. Okay. Yeah, all right. There is a feeling that you're getting away from them. All right. Where you feel like you are allowing them to move forward. They're, okay, in alignment with that on their side. Their own tower moment of going calmly into the night when there's this love for you. Okay, I feel like communication is going to show up. All right. But again, Spirit is saying, don't try to control it. Okay, the control is when your emotions take over. And that's when you'll find yourself in a place that doesn't feel right. Okay, so let's look at the lesson here. Okay, what's the lesson that you're learning here? Okay, it is about the journey. You are moving through time, space, and dimensions. What did I say? For a more conscious life. In the 3D, I am imprinted with the human condition in an energetic reality. That is exactly what all of this has said. And I, I agree. This is just spirit aligning here to say everything that we saw here is true. Okay, you are trying to really be energetic and you're in a human reality and so there does have to be a little bit of that balance okay so let's go ahead and look at a few things here all right okay emotionally again it's all heart and intuition and it causes you a lot of heartache and especially here, okay, this is about the divine counterpart. I do feel that it is, the emotions are driving you away from this person. You know, a new beginning would be to, instead of just using inner knowing, you know, talk to your guides, talk to your ancestors, ask them to help you in the 3D, ask them to guide you in this reality so that you have a more grounded, um, I want to say more accurately dimensional, like balance here. Okay. Because you do see this connection as being very, very sacred, but there's also that lack of understanding time because you're not really balanced in the 3D. So again, that is your challenge here to overcome 
okay, the fact that this is a very spiritual, powerful connection, and yet how do you go ahead and, you know, let it play out naturally? Yeah. Okay. It's okay to have your heart open, but they're really showcasing here with the Luminous Warrior. It's the release, okay, of being covered with the energy. Allowing, because we've got here the completion of the cycle of this journey is very rooted, okay, in that sacral, which is the pre-birth energy and the intuition. Okay, the intuition here I really feel that the intuition is knowing that this is your person. But allowing yourself to clear out the deceptions for this birth, that you can control it or that it has to happen in a specific way to align to what you see in the 5D. All right. Okay, so you get Humpback Well, the singer. Sing or sing healing songs for the world. Your inner navigation always guides you. Nothing can stop, stop you or keep you from your goal. Align with your purpose and the power in your soul. Okay, I feel like the way to communicate your emotions, what's going to help you is singing. Okay, find the space to sing especially very emotionally connected songs, okay? And then let it guide you into what you want to say. Black Bear Guardian, gentle and wise protect protector. Give me your confidence and power. Help me protect the ones I love. Awaken my intuition and guide me. Okay, maybe you need to talk to the bear totem. Um, allow the bear to teach you because the bear if you know about how bears are they are very protective of their babies but when they become a little older they're like no go <laughs> go do your thing you need to yes i understand here that you would give your everything for this person because of this intense emotional love that you feel for them but that is not the holding space and that is what you're being guided to is that holding space and letting them go through their own thing alone and just being love okay but letting them grow up, letting them go through their own journey. And I feel like that is an energy that you really need to learn. Okay, that's your soul, part of your soul's journey here. So I'm going to move into the extended. Look at how this correlates with your life journey. And this person, this connection, okay, this outcome. That will be either in Patreon, which is the smartest way to connect with me because you get the whole month's worth of videos um, and you pay just the one price. But I also have added Vimeo because a lot of people are like, eh, about memberships, which I totally get. It's that whole, you know, auto ship <laughs> sort of a um, trauma, PTSD and so you can go to Vimeo now. Both of those links are below. And you can either just do a one-off or I have a package deal where you can get 72 hours with all of the videos that are there for the last two weeks. Okay. So I hope that this helps you and I hope to see you there, guys. All right.
Next week, we'll go back to our regularly channeled program. All right, much love. Okay, Bye. Virgo, since you are such an emotional being, let's start by pulling out an emotion for you, okay? Let's see how you're feeling here in your life's journey. Aww. Connected, emotional, romantic, affection. You really are being driven by this love, okay? Which, yes, is very beautiful. Um, but if it doesn't come into fruition, if it doesn't birth, then you start kind of wasting your time here.